section 6.2, properties of parallelograms. So we're going to take our study of polygons and look at specifically these four-sided shapes, these quadrilaterals, with two pairs of opposite parallel sides. So two pairs, that's a requirement of opposite parallel sides is a parallelogram. So parallel ogram. And eventually you practice spelling that enough, it becomes sick in nature. So then when you know how to do it, you can use it as an icebreaker at parties. Like, hey, I know how to spell a parallelogram. But if you don't want to spell it, you don't have to, because we have a symbol. So the symbol for a parallelogram, practice it at least one more time, is a rectangle that is kind of slanted over to the side. So kind of a very generic looking parallelogram. Two pairs of opposite parallel sides. That's the definition of it. So on the first page of your notes, which is all blank, you want to start listing all the different types of shapes you're looking at and all their properties and their definitions. So you can start with a parallelogram. It's a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. So then we get our first property of parallelograms. The properties are theorems, so they can be proven and they derive themselves from the definition. So first, the opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent as well. So starting with the definition that the opposite sides are parallel, you can eventually prove the opposite sides are also congruent. Huh, I said the word prove. I wonder what we're going to do. So, two columns. We're given parallelogram A, B, C, D. So, that's our given information. So, parallelogram A, B, C, D. And that is given. Move that, okay. So opposite sides are parallel, we know that. So let's do a little trick we know about. We're gonna add in an auxiliary line. So in this case, the auxiliary line will be a diagonal from A running to C. So we're splitting our parallelogram up into two triangles. So we'll name them triangle ABC, triangle ADC, and we'll get some angles in there as well. So angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four. Now we have two pairs of parallel sides, so then we also have two sets of alternate interior angles from that kind of Z shape. So here, you have angles three and two, and then if you kind of let your head fall to one side, you'll see the Z shape here with angles one and four. So angle two, congruent to angle three, and angle one, congruent to angle four, by our alternate interior, Angles theorem. We also have two triangles, triangle ABC, triangle ADC. So those triangles have side AC in common. So by the reflective property, AC is congruent to itself. 
us by the reflexive property of congruency or PAC. So we have angle one congruent to angle four, angle two congruent to angle three, and we have side AC congruent to itself. So we have angle side angle congruency. So I think I got the order of the points wrong earlier. I want to get them right to this side. So ABC, triangle ABC, congruent to triangle. Now I did the short side, then the long. So when I do the other triangle, I want to do the short side, then the long. So C, D, A. Get to those corresponding parts to line up in the correct order. Because remember, when you're talking about good shapes, the order matters. So now these triangles are congruent, and we know corresponding parts of congruent triangles. They are congruent too. So AB and CD, the size, the corresponding parts, they are congruent, and BC and DA. So line segment AB, congruent to line segment CD, and line segment BC, congruent to line segment DA, by some good old C, P, C, C, C. And maybe you're thinking now, I thought proofs were only in first semester. Ha! So also, we have that first property and some others that stem from that original definition. So, if the quadrilateral is a parallelogram, the opposite angles are also congruent. Consecutive angles or angles next to each other are supplementary. And the diagonals bisect each other. So each diagonal gets cut in half. So you can look at example one, another proof. And you have those three or four properties from this section to look at that example.